Hi there, this is Heather with Autism Chrysalis. I'm getting ready to move my office. I'm going to switch it to a different room. More on that in another video. But before I take this setup apart, I wanted to point out something. And that's this stack of books here next to me. It was originally intended to be my to-read list, and I would cycle through books as I read them, but that was overly optimistic because reading text on print is really hard for my eyes. Uh, anyway, that's a whole other discussion. So it's, it's stayed pretty stationary. But what I wanted to point out is that it's, it's not a very neat pile. It's intentionally wobbly, off-centered, the books aren't neatly lined up, they're not from largest to smallest, the, or like they're not in color order or alphabetical, there's not a particular order to them other than just chronological, which everyone happens, happened to get most recently, went on top. Um, and that all is so very unusual for me. I like stacks of books to be neat, to be all aligned to one side, or to be centered if they're horizontal like this, um, for them to... It, it needs to be neat. And I have very intentionally made this a less orderly stack, because first of all, I needed the like one thing in my life to to not be orderly to remind me that it's okay that nothing bad is happening that this stack of books is off kilter and um and, and it doesn't actually affect anything other than what's going on inside me and that I have the skills to deal with at this point. And sometimes when I look at it, I feel like this clenching inside and like, ew. And I, I know how to deal with that now. I have the skills to walk myself through it and to, to be, to get back to a place where I'm okay with the world and I can move on with my day. Um, but having something like that doesn't have to be in such a public place. Like, it could have been somewhere else in my life that no one ever saw. But I also very intentionally put it here where it's it's seen by all of my clients, it's seen on the YouTube videos, and my workshops, wherever you see me. And, and that's because there is another part of me that doesn't want to be seen as an unorderly person, that I need to project showing that I am orderly, that everything is neat and tidy and everything has its place and and all of the stuff that goes with that. And it was really hard for me at the beginning to to be seen as as having an, uh, a non-neat stack of books. And I decided that I was at a point in my own personal journey that I wanted to challenge myself by being by presenting myself as as someone who can handle being perceived being not entirely tidy and that was it, it was exactly what I intended it to be it was quite a challenge to my own um, identity and at the same time, I have the skills now to be able to deal with that, to talk myself through when, when thoughts around that come up, when I feel a little anxiety welling around that. And this has been like this for long enough. It's been about a year and a half since I've had this office set up. Um, that a while ago, it just... I mean, it's gradually decreased, and it's something that I'm aware of, and it's something that I'm aware that I'm not in love with, and in the new office it'll probably be different, but 
it's not affecting me the same way that it did towards the beginning. It's been gradually decreasing because I've actually not had people give me flack for it. I've, I've not had bad comments about it, and if some people have seen my videos and are like, I just, I just can't deal with that, and they never reach out to me, it turns some people off, you know what? I'm not gonna be able to please everyone. Even if it was a neat stack, I wouldn't, it wouldn't completely please everyone. If it, there weren't books at all, or if there was a whole bookshelf behind me, any various option would not please everyone. And what I've decided is that the people who can stand my outward presentation of myself is, are the people that I can work with. Like, these are the people that can handle me, and, and that's what's most important. And this has been going on long enough that that is a stable enough thing in my life now. I've, I've kind of taken away from the experiment what I needed to take away from it, so that when I move to the new room and set up my new office, it's gonna be quite different and I don't need to continue doing that. That's another thing. It's like, it's not all or nothing. Because I did it for a while, I don't have to continue it forever. Um, I got from the experience what I needed to get from it. And I thought a little explanation of that might be useful, just in case anyone was wondering about my, um, my disorderly stack of books. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm kind of curious what you're taking from this. I'd love to to get some comments uh, down below in the comments section. Totally fine if you don't want to. Anyway, more on the the move to a new office in another video, and I'll see you around. Have a neuro-wonderful day.